Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today we've got a Nukes Top 5. And this is 10 scary videos of ghosts caught on camera. We're going to get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and comment things down below. Let's go! Shereen Louise, a single mother of a three-year-old daughter, has recently moved into an old Victorian house in Cardiff, England. Soon after moving in, Shereen's daughter, little Ilea, begins to complain about a man with a, quote, bad head and bad eyes who marches through the upstairs hallway. What is it? Bad eyes. Bad eyes? Yeah. Bad eyes. Bad eyes. Yeah. Where? Upstairs. Upstairs. Nope. No, we're not doing this. Shireen decides to take a look into the history of the old house and discovers that it was built on an ancient battleground from all the way back in 1485. The worried mother now believes that her daughter might be seeing the spirit of a soldier who fought in battle. Shireen installs a security camera in the hallway just to see what's going on. Then one night after dark, this happens. But she's kind of young to do it. If it was an old, like, child. Because they're going to see them as a soldier. So educate them on what soldier, like, what type of, like, that they're a soldier and what they've done and sacrificed. This child, so far, all she sees is a head and eyes, apparently. So that might be a bit harder to do. It's very weird. I believe this child... I believe the child, I don't know if it's what, I believe this child sees bad head and eyes. I don't know if that's their imagination seeing it, but I believe the child sees that and is scared of it. Are you laughing at him? Is he being funny? <laughs> is he being funny? That's good, isn't it? You're still looking at someone. I'm waiting for the tw I'm... Oh my god, she's. Ah! Oh no, please don't hurt me, mommy. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, you just scared mommy. Sorry, sorry, you just scared mommy. It's not scary. It's not scary. Ah! He's a funny friend, isn't he? I was waiting for something to appear like here. That's why I keep looking at this area. I'm waiting for something to appear. He's a funny friend. Yeah. Yeah. Two eerie breaths can be heard loud enough that they are picked up by the hallway security camera. Shortly after this, little Ilea once again complains about the man with the quote, bad head and two eyes. Shireen says that originally she completely fell in love with the charming Victorian home, but now has second thoughts about staying. She says she's worried about the safety of her daughter. If the child wasn't there, I feel like it'd be a different story. Because living in a house with a soldier, like a, a soldier spirit, might be very intriguing to an adult by themselves. If that, the, the soldier causes no harm, 
Uh, in this case, with a child, there you have to protect the child first before anything. So is little three-year-old Ilya seeing something that we just can't? You decide. Graveyard. This next video was posted to the internet by an account that is devoted to sharing videos of large boats and seafaring vessels. In one video, we see a graveyard of old cruise ships that have been run aground and left abandoned on a beach somewhere in Turkey. But there's something else. Something that a sharp-eyed Nukes Top 5 viewer spotted in the video. Watch closely. something right there. Yeah, there's someone walking. Hold on. Yeah, there's a person walking right here. Do you see the shadow figure right here? There's someone walking. Who's that? Did you see it? On board the rusting old cruise ship on the right, someone or something can be seen walking around inside, even though the ship is completely abandoned. No one is on board, and there's not even any access to get on the ship. So could this mysterious figure be the ghost of someone who didn't survive their voyage? Let me know what you think. The Night Visitor Fairness, you're saying no one's able to get on the ship. There are people who can find a way. If a squad wants to get on it, it get on it. A woman named Shay works as an overnight office cleaner at a mid-sized company in Indiana. Shay says that she often works alone in the large office building and that this can sometimes get just a little bit creepy. But this one particular night, things are about to get absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Okay, so Tim while I'm at work and I was about to take out the trash and I just got a text from um the lady who um the lady who works here and she said, Hey Shay, just wanna let you know that everyone has left so um you can go vacuum the other side. I was like, Okay, yes ma'am and she said, Just me there? No, I asked, I said just me there. She's like, Yes. Y'all, I'm scared as f because when I went outside there are no cars out there besides my work van. And I'm so scared. So tell me why. If I'm the only one here, who the f is this? Like, who the f is that? Like, um, y'all, I'm not tripping. That's somebody in that room and they just sitting there. What the f is that? Like, they just sitting there. Bro, I'm about to fing call, cause I'm like, how the f which? And I just call her and say, hey, you sure I'm the only one here? She's like, yeah, look at the cameras. You're the only one there. I'm seeing about the cars there. And I said, someone is in one of the booths. And she was like, in the booths? I was like, yeah, someone is in one of the booths. Shay is supposed to be all alone. Oh, she's like from the major like, nope, 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 no, nope, I'm dealing with that. Nope, nope, nope. Alone in the building, but someone or something seems to be sitting in a chair pressed right up against the glass door at the end of the hall. Oh, yo, okay. They're not so I didn't see the person. 
I couldn't tell from the thing until you saw that you can literally see the person just sitting in this chair right here back to the damn thing that's weird I'm moving and they're not reacting Shay hides in the closet gathers her courage and then heads out to confront the person but there's no one there with that Shay has had about enough she calls her supervisor to come check out the office building for an intruder or whatever this is and Shay takes the back stairs and exits the building but here is where it gets really weird they found no one right because Shay's supervisor comes and checks out the entire building and finds no one there also her supervisor reviews the security camera footage that monitors anyone entering or leaving the building and whoever this person was they never left this person never showed up on any of the building's security cameras we need scary videos that's weird that's creepy i'll give them that that's fucking weird so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com off the wall in an email sent to me by Nukes Top 5 viewer Ricardo, he told me about a trip he and his brother took to the historic Fort of San Felipe in Bacalar, Mexico. On the trip, Ricardo filmed a video with his old Nokia potato phone, and he and his brother can be seen exploring the massive old 1700s fortress. They accidentally catch something that they just can't explain. <laughs> Ah, sí. Para que te pensaste o no. Para que cargue. Espérate, no más en mi grabo. Did you see it? In a dangerous section of the historic fortress that's closed off the tourists, a strange brown figure can be seen on the grass and seemingly climbing or floating right over the wall. Now, I have carefully inspected this clip. I've slowed it down and I've even sharpened and enhanced the potato quality as much as I could, but I still have no idea what this is. So. It's a Florida man, that's what, it's from a Florida man? Is that what you described so sweet? Oh, I leave it up to you. The Royal Arcade. Nuke Stop 5 viewer and paranormal investigator Emma from the YouTube channel Twinvestigate UK reached out to us about a creepy video they captured while investigating the Royal Arcade in Keefley, West Yorkshire, England. The Royal Arcade is an historic underground shopping center built in 1901. The upper floors of the Royal Arcade were eventually renovated. However, the dingy old underground stores and rooms were left untouched. These buildings with their dark history still look almost exactly the same as they did in the early 1900s. Emma says that she and her group were doing a spirit box session in what was once the shop of a horse saddler. In this area, the spirit of a grumpy old man named Billy is said to wander around. What happens next is truly creepy. Make that bang again. So. Please stop. Why do you want us to stop? Emma and her group are shocked to see what looks like a figure moving through a lens flare caught on their phone. The investigators try to recreate and even debunk what they captured, but they just can't reproduce this strange silhouette of a person moving. So just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. A dark park in this. The only part that makes that so weird is the guy perfectly watches. It almost like it watches the dude, the person go past. That's the one that's weird about that to me. Then Pedro Mall. Security guard Johann Zimmel is working the night shift at the San Pedro Mall in San Jose, Costa Rica, when he spots something truly chilling. Bro. Bro. 
Did you see the shadow person like walking behind him? Then the guy screams, I don't know, at the camel? Or does it scream that? I don't know, but for some reason the guy stopped, so I don't know if he actually heard him or not. That's what makes me weird about that. That. <laughs> Correcto, correcto, aquí salió algo raro. Mae, sí, véngase mejor. A security camera pointed at the mall's parking structure captures the moment a dark, shifty silhouette of a person can be seen approaching an unsuspecting man. The man turns around as if he hears or feels something, but no one's there. It's not an unsuspected man. He literally, it's like a security, I think it must be a security partner or something like that, because he's screaming out to turn around and talks to him afterwards. Air. And the weird figure seems to have just disappeared into thin air. After the security footage was released online, many former employees of the mall came forward to share their own personal paranormal experiences from their days working there. Many of these former workers claim that the mall is haunted after someone passed away on the fourth floor of the parking structure. Lights out. One afternoon, Rachel Navarro is home alone in her New York City apartment. Due to maintenance issues, the power in her building has temporarily been shut off. And this is when things just start to get really weird. Okay, hi. Um, sorry, I'm just watching something, but literally... Hold on. There's no electricity in our place right now, okay? Turns it off. Oh, we literally just saw this. For y'all, it'll be the video yesterday. For to me, it's the video I just did not long ago. Because I'm doing a one massive film day. This is one. Wait, I've seen this already. But I swear. Shite. Okay, this door. Jesus has been doing this literally all day. And look, that's shite. Oh my God. Hello? Hold on, hold on. I'm going out there. I turned the flash on because I couldn't see shite out there. I got my epic mace. The bomb. Okay. I swear. Oh, blood of Jesus. Jesus. moves because of the wind. I'm not really worried about that. Hello? them again. I still don't understand what the fuck they are. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, no, no. Rachel's front door is shaking on its own and when she looks through the peephole, something can be seen moving around on the other side. She grabs her pepper spray and opens the door but no one there, just her creepy pitch black hallway. Then Rachel hears what sounds like someone breathing and whispering in the hallway. Oh sh! Oh sh! Jesus. Understandably, she turns around and heads right back inside. As a Nuke Stop 5 viewer, Rachel decided to email us about her creepy experience. To this day, she still has no idea what was going on in her hall no vacancy. This next creepy video was recorded at a small hotel in the desolate countryside of Mexico. 
Now, for years, the staff working at the hotel have witnessed and experienced unexplainable activity, usually when they're all alone. One day, a housekeeper notices someone standing at the window of hotel room number 30, even though the room should be vacant and completely empty. The housekeeper immediately notifies the hotel manager, but they find no evidence of anyone inside that empty room. That is, until later that same day. Aquí más cerquita. Aquí más cerquita. Sí, miren, ahí se ve, se alcanza a ver una cara, unos ojos. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver a esa habitación. Estamos subiendo las escaleras porque este, ah, desde ahí es donde estábamos viendo que se veía. Aquí ya no se ve nada, a lo mejor por el reflejo de la luz. Y vamos a ver en la habitación. Aquí está la cama, porque es, esta es una habitación pequeña. Aquí pues no se ve nada. Y aquí está la tele donde, está, donde estábamos, donde se supone que se veía, pero no se ve nada. No entiendo qué. ¿Por qué estoy? ¡Ah! As the manager approaches the hotel room, a pale face with hollow eyes can be seen peering down at her through the hotel window. The manager hurries upstairs and into the room, but she discovers that the face, or whatever it was, has disappeared. But then something moves, making a loud sound and sending the frightened woman rushing right out of the room. Now the hotel staff believes that they have caught evidence that their small hotel in Mexico is haunted. I don't know. I don't know on this one. Um, cause that face looks ridiculous. This looks like it's in a movie. This doesn't even look like a real face, which kind of throws me off. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. In a flash, there's a lightning storm just outside Amanda Knowles' house in Iowa. She looks out her front window and notices something truly bizarre. Please tell me y'all see this. Just watch. Watch straight out into that yard. Look, you see it? Look. And it happens again. Look. Look, look. See? See? And I'm telling you right now, ignore my dogs. But look, man, I think it's time to move. A strange white figure can be seen standing in the grass across the street from where Amanda lives. But whoever or whatever this is, it appears and then just disappears as the storm rages on. Some viewers of Amanda's creepy video wonder if the electrical energy in the air could have somehow helped make a paranormal presence visible. Hmm. But whatever this is, Amanda says she is spooked. The Old Baraboo Inn. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter sets out to investigate the allegedly haunted Old Baraboo Inn located in the scenic city of Baraboo, Wisconsin. The inn was built in 1864 and functioned as a tavern and a brothel. Over the years, the seedy inn became a regular hangout for many underworld figures like Al Capone and other notorious gangland criminals. Over the years, it is a bunch of world famous people that lived here. We got Al Capone and others. So I'm taking a word on the others, but Al Capone was one, and then there's the other ones that are very famous and very known, and you definitely know who they are and all that. Said that many people fell victim to the inn's sinister clientele, and many men and even women have lost their lives here. Today, the old Baraboo Inn is said to be extremely haunted, especially in the basement where it is said that many men were chained to a pole and executed by the mob. That pole still stands today, a remnant of the building's horrific past. So, investigator Ian decides to spend a night at the inn, planning to investigate all the paranormal claims. It's still early into the night and Ian is exploring the Baraboo Inn's bar area when things start to get a little spooky. Are there any spirits? 
Hanging out at this bar tonight? I heard this place is supposed to be really haunted. Could you show me what they're talking about? I think the reason I don't like people like him as a ghost paranormal thing is nothing against him as a person. But my always understanding of a ghost, it's a person who doesn't know they're dead. I would never, I don't buy that a ghost knows it's dead. A spirit knows it's dead. To them, they're alive and fine. That's always how I've thought. Um, so when I hear people just talk, just saying, is there any spirits here? It some reason bothers me. I don't know why. The stories of strange things happening. I'd like to see it for myself. Is there anybody here that could do that for me? Ooh. That sound came from over there. That scared me. Hello? If that was you, could you make that sound again? Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm hearing all kinds of weird sounds in here. Ian continues his investigation and heads into the inn's kitchen. But what happens next is truly bizarre. If there's anyone in here, could you show yourself? What the f was that? Hello? Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, something just got thrown. What the hell was that? Look at that. What the f is that? Oh my god, that's like a spoon. It's on the floor. Like, how is that even possible? I'm sorry, that's the most ridiculous reaction I've ever heard. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? That's a. That's, a, that's some sort of. Some sort of spoon! What the hell is this spoon doing here? How is it in the. It's on the floor! How is it. How? How is this possible? I don't know. I don't know how to explain any of this. Everything that is happening to me right now is far beyond what I was expecting from this place. Ian is freaked out as kitchen utensils can be heard moving on their own and a ladle is thrown onto the floor. But the worst is still yet to come. That's not just, that's some sort of spoon. Nuke, that's some sort of spoon. Because next Ian heads down into the basement, the most actively haunted area of the old Baraboo Inn. This is the room. Oh God, there it is. You see that? Pole. That is the pole. That is the pole. The, the pole. execution pole. If the mobsters took you in this room, you knew you were done for. Just imagine what would be going through those victims' minds as they're being dragged into this room and placed here. And if you look closely here, you can see all the different bullet holes. You see that there's a bullet hole right there, right there, right there. They're just all over this pole. And those are blood stains seeping through the paint. It's super tense in here. It sounds like somebody's down here with me. Who's out there? Oh God, holy shit. I don't know how much more of this I can take. It's coming from this room. Again, the pole room. I 
I can hear you over there. I know you're down here. I don't think it's the same spirit at all. I'm kind of getting that heavy, bad feeling again. If you're one of the mobsters, make another sound. Oh, oh, oh God. Well, you got an answer. Jeez. Mobster don't appreciate you being on that turf, boy. You better get the f up out of there. This is the last spirit I want to encounter right now. Could you do it again a little louder? How much louder do you want? Oh, oh holy shit. Oh my God. That was a black mass. Okay, I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. But it's a freaking dead end over here. I can't get out this way. Ian is terrified as he sees a dark shadow-like figure move near the infamous execution pole in the basement. He's able to calm himself down enough to follow the dark figure, but he finds nothing and no one to explain what he just saw. Soon after this creepy event, Ian decides that he's had about enough, and he just heads home. You can see this full investigation with many more scary moments over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.